ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் சேனல் டுடேஸ் வீடியோ ஈஸ் அபவுட் அவர் விசிட் டு ஏ ஃபார்ம் ஃபார் ஸ்ட்ராபெரி பிக்கிங் ரீசெண்ட்லி வி ஹேட் விசிட்டட் ஏ ஸ்ட்ராபெரி ஃபார்ம் இட் வாஸ் கேஎம்சி ஃபார்ம் இன் ராஜநஹள்ளி பெங்களூர் விச் வாஸ் அபவுட் சிக்ஸ்டி டூ கிலோமீட்டர்ஸ் அவே ஃப்ரம் எலக்ட்ரானிக் சிட்டி டுவேர்ட்ஸ் மாலூர் வி வெண்ட் ஆன் ஏ ஒர்க்கிங் டே டு அவாய்ட் ரஷ் தேர் ஆன் வீக்கெண்ட்ஸ் சின்ஸ் இட் வாஸ் ஏ ஒர்க்கிங் டே தே டோன்ட் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் மோர் விசிட்டர்ஸ் We had to call the owner in advance to confirm our visit and pay the entry fee of Rs. 200 per head. Even on weekends and holidays, prior intimation is necessary as they don't take more than 150 visitors on those days. We reached the KMC farm by 10.30 am. The roads including the village roads were really smooth and good except the last 10 to 20 meters. However, the travel was enjoyable. As we entered the farm, we saw a small farmhouse inside where the employees were busy with their work. Seeing us, one of them came out and took us to the strawberry field since he was already informed by his boss. He told us that we can pick up as much as we wish and even eat them too, the cost of which is actually covered in the admission fees. We have to pay for the strawberries we would like to carry home according to the weight. Polythene sheets were covered under the plants to avoid the weeds. Hence, it was easy to walk around and pick the strawberries. We soon began to walk through the strawberry plants under the scorching sun. Some of the plants had dried up but majority of them were in good shape. Fortunately, we had our caps and umbrellas with us and they were very useful to protect us from the heat. six varieties of strawberries they had in their farm some varieties are on the other side of the road after our pick from this area the staff said he will take us there if we wish since we had already picked enough strawberries from the side we didn't want to go that side we picked as much as we wanted and then we saw smaller variety of strawberries in another side though they were smaller in size they were sweeter than the bigger ones However, we picked a bunch of them from there too. They have also planted some marigold plants in between the strawberry plants. The strawberries were bright and fresh. Oh, it was a wonderful experience of picking them. February to March is the best time for strawberry picking. It is a 10 acre property and only a portion of it is used for growing strawberries. Trees like guava were also there and the fruits were not ready for harvesting. However, we strolled through the guava field. By then, more visitors had come to the farm. Most of them were ladies.
We walked to the farmhouse where the staff were packing the fresh strawberries for sale outside. Our pick was weighed and made the payment at the rate of rupees 500 per kg. The price list was also there. On weekends and holidays, some items like strawberry juice, strawberry jam and tender coconuts etc. are available for sale. They were growing some vegetables in their farm such as broccoli and cabbage but they were not ready for harvest. So we were not keen to visit that area. There is also a temporary thatched sitting area where chairs were provided on request. Inside the hall, it was very cool. Since we had carried our food and water with us, we had our lunch there. We had thoroughly enjoyed our visit to the farm. If anyone is planning to visit there, please remember to carry your caps, drinking water and food. Address of the farm and the contact number are given in the description. Please see that.